All right, the video that you're getting ready to watch is going to involve a little bit of danger. So if you don't know anything about electricity, you better go find this breaker. It's going to have a little reset button on that. It's a GFI, normally going to be a 50 amp, and you need to turn it off. This is another example. See, that one's got a little white button. They got yellow buttons. They look different. They're generally going to be in a box that looks similar to this. They're going to be they should not be closer than five feet nor further than 15 feet from your hot tub and it should have a pigtail that comes out and goes into your tub so you need to find that breaker before you start and turn it off do not get electrocuted i don't allow stupid people to work on hot tubs so if you're stupid quit watching this video go find something else to do to kill yourself other than that keep on watching okay this is a new wire breaker kick cow spot okay have the heater out you can still see it's kicking, so I bet it's not wired right. Okay, my suspicions were correct. You can see that the neutral wire is not on the GFI breaker, plus the breaker has been damaged somewhat. And now that I've got it wired correctly, you can see that the breaker does, in fact, set. Now the spy is lit. All right, friends, so you saw in the video that there was a breaker wiring issue. <clears throat> what this whole video is about is if you bought a brand new tub and you just wired it up and you go to set that breaker and it doesn't say it, it trips, it's probably not the hot tub. It's probably the way it's wired. What I'm going to show you is a common mistake that most electricians make. You'll get, I used to get the story and still do sometime, oh, I've been wiring stuff for 30 years. Well, a GFI on a hot tub is completely different than everything else you wire. So electricians commonly make mistakes. So I just showed you an example of it. I'm gonna show you close up slower an example in here so you can kind of get an idea about how to solve it. So if you've got a brand new hot tub that you just wired up and it uh, is tripping the breaker, or if you move the tub from another location and put it at your location and you just wired it up and it was tripping the breaker and it ran fine at the other place, probably not the hot tub, it's probably wired wrong. So that's what we're going to show you real quick. Stay tuned, friends. So this right here is a common wire up. This is a box that you could buy at most Home Depot and Lowe's. This particular one's a Midwest. I think these are sold at Lowe's. But this is a typical wire up. This is correct. Where the mistake is made is you see this white wire right here. This is going to the hot tub. I'm assuming that you understand how to wire up a breaker box. The hot wires in this box would come in one here one would come in here, the neutral wire would go to one of these lugs, the ground wire would go to this lug over here. So I assume that you understand that. This is, what we're looking at is wiring from the GFI to the, <clears throat> to the breaker, or to the tub. So the answer is, is all three of the big wires that go to the tub come off of the breaker. That's the kicker. What'll happen is, if the breaker's tripping, you'll see this wire right here is actually together with this. That's what you saw in that previous video. It was actually hooked here. They have to be separated. What happens is the GFI actually puts voltage out on the white wire and it reconciles it back to ground. Inversely, if you had a situation where your breaker set but you actually have voltage in the water, which will happen, it's usually not going to be full voltage. It wouldn't be 126 volts. It would be something like 70 or 75 and I've seen it all the way down to 10. It depends on the brand of breaker. But this particular breaker sends out about 75 volts on that white wire to reconcile the ground. So if you unhook the ground, it puts voltage in the water. And you will I've run up on tubs where it was tripping the breaker and they didn't do anything. They didn't figure out what was causing it to trip the breaker. They just simply unhooked the ground. And uh, if it has full voltage in the water, and what I mean is full voltage, like 125, 126 volts, it is probably not the GFI, you've got something else wrong, but the GFI is wired wrong. I had one situation where I had 125 volts in the water, the check valve was bad on the uh, ozonator, so the ozonator was full of water, which was shorting the water to ground. The reason the GFI didn't trip was they had the ground off inside the uh, breaker box. So there's many different scenarios, but just know if you've got voltage in your water, then the GFI system cannot operate correctly. Um, the other thing I'm assuming is that you're qualified to do this. If you're a homeowner and you're fairly handy, make sure you power everything off and, and don't stick your fingers in here. 
If you touch these lugs right here, they're hot, they're 220. So don't get hurt, ladies and gentlemen. And usually another thing I'll show you is on a lot of breakers, they will have a dot. You see that little white dot right there is an indicator that the white wire goes right there, hot there, hot there, white wire here. In this particular case, it actually says, it'll say load, load, neutral. Neutral goes in the middle. It actually says it on this little sticker. So you have to be cognizant of what you're looking for and look around. Just remember the three big wires that go to the tub hook directly to the breaker and then make sure that you've got your ground hooked up. The curly wire is going to go on the neutral side and if you only have three wires to the box, in this case what you would do is hook your ground here, hook your hot here and your hot here and then you would take this little uh, piece right here, unscrew it, stick it in a lug over here, tighten it up and then screw it back down and what that does is hooks the it makes basically grounds the body of the breaker box. And that is the long and short of it right there, friends. So friends, the previous information is more informational for me. I really can't sell you anything in this, uh, uh, in this scenario. This is about me showing you how to get your hot tub running and not spend a bunch of money trying to, to chase down something that's actually not a problem. It's just a lack of knowledge. So it's as simple as moving the white wire from the neutral line and putting it on the breaker like it's supposed to be. But remember that I helped you get your hot tub running. We offer filters. If you've got a brand new tub, we sell filters. We have all kinds of different things on our website. We actually manufacture covers. We do cover caps. We do uh, bag straps. We do cover lifts. We have all kinds of accessories and things that you can add to your hot tub where we can do some business since I helped you out. If it's a used tub, we sell all kinds of parts for used tubs, and we also offer informational videos, how-to videos just like this. So click that banner over my head, go to my website, take a look around. I don't know much, but I do know hot tubs. I'm the spa guy.